So I got to talk to you about how meditation has made me a lot of money over the years and how it can potentially make you a lot of money as well. So I got to take you back though to 2011 because in 2011, I didn't have that much confidence in myself and I was depressed. I didn't really know who I was anymore. And I just felt like I wanted to just end it all. And so through a series of events, I came across some information about meditation. And I was so desperate at the time for inner peace that I just tried it without overthinking it. So I'm sitting down one day in meditation with my eyes closed. And then all of a sudden I started really becoming aware of my thoughts, really becoming aware of my emotions, really becoming aware of what caused me to tick. And the more and more aware I became, the more and more detached I became from my thoughts, from my emotions, and from the things that caused me to tick the way I was ticking up until that moment. And so I continued practicing for a couple of days. And then one day in meditation, I had this out of body experience that changed everything for me. I really understood that I was more than just a body. I was more than just this clunk of meat walking around. And from that higher perspective, I started to understand that I had untapped potential because up until that point, everything that I did was based off of who I thought I was up until that moment. And now when I had this out of body experience, I realized I was more than what I thought I was. So after I came out of meditation, I vowed to never play it small again. I vowed to never think, low about myself again. And from that day forward, I continue to practice meditation every day up until today. Today, I meditated twice already. I meditated when I woke up sitting in bed. And I also meditated when I got downstairs, I got on the couch and meditated. And the reason why meditation has made me a tremendous amount of money is because through that stillness that I found inside of myself through meditation, it's allowed me to become more confident in who I am as an individual. For instance, when I decide that I'm going to do something, now I do it and I don't question myself. Before I started meditating, if I said I was going to do something, I probably wasn't going to do it. So it's made me definitely more disciplined. And that has spilled over not only into my work, but also into my life in general. For instance, I decided I was going to start working out again. And I've been doing that every day, sometimes twice a day. I decided that I was going to continue to meditate. And I've been doing that every day, sometimes twice a day. In fact, when I first started meditating, I would get up to about five hours a day in one meditation, believe it or not. And I would get to these states of consciousness where time seemed like it really didn't exist. Like I was aware of the fact that time was just a fabric of my imagination. And so stillness, confidence, and also another quality that has made me a lot of money through meditation is the ability to have a crystal clear imagination. When I have a idea now, I see it like I'm watching TV. It's that clear. And because it's that clear to me, uh, usually I'll take action on it in some type of way, because I found that the more clear my ideas are, the more likely I am to take action on that particular idea. So let's go back to stillness. I believe that human beings can pick up on energy. And because I believe that, and because I believe in uh, radiating positive energy, when I walk into a meeting 
or even if I'm on a meeting that's taking place on Zoom, I believe that the, pe the people that I'm meeting with can pick up on that vibration. And because I understand that, I set the intention of expanding my vibration to a higher level before I take on the meeting. And nine times out of 10, I walk away with a good experience from a meeting. I walk away with a check. I walk away with a deal. It's caused me to become more calm. And I think people feel that I'm calm in that meeting. They don't feel like I need anything from them. They feel like I'm someone that they can trust because I'm so calm energetically. And I believe all of that contributes to my financial success over the years. Another thing that it does for me is it makes me really not care that much. And I know that sounds crazy because it seems like uh, the common thing would be that the more you care, the better your results are gonna be. But for me, the less I care, the better my life gets. What I mean by that is uh, back in the day, before I started meditating, if things didn't go my way, then I would allow that thing not going my way to ruin my day. But because I don't really care, then it doesn't matter what the outcome is because if this isn't the person, place, or thing that's gonna give me the experience I'm looking for, then I know that there's another person, place, or thing that has that experience and all I gotta do is manifest myself in their reality. So I'm not hung up on one person, place, or thing working out anymore. I'm more fluid because I look at all of life as life. And because I look at all of life as life, I'm not really that particular about the person, place, or thing that shows up and delivers me the experience that I want to have, because I know I'm going to have that experience anyway. So because of that, it's taught me to be very patient, even though I'm a very driven individual. And because of that, I've made a lot of money over the years. Another thing it's uh, caught me, taught me to do, excuse me, another thing meditation has taught me to do is to be bold when I am declaring what I want. Because I was able to sit with my emotions for a significant amount of time, I was able to penetrate the walls of fear that used to hold me down back in the past. And because I penetrated that wall of fear, now when I ask for anything, I'm bold with my asking. I'm not asking for crumbs. I want the entire plate. Now, it doesn't mean I'm greedy. It just means that this is what I believe I truly deserve. And because I believe I truly deserve it, that's what I'm asking for. And so a lot of times I believe that people ask for small things and they get small results and they still complain about the results they got, even though they're the one that asked for the thing. For instance, I asked someone a few days ago, do you want to be rich? And they said, no, I don't want to be rich. I just want to be comfortable. And I said, well, if you become rich, you automatically become comfortable. I said, however, comfort is the cousin of death. What do you mean by that? Well, I found that the more comfortable I am, the more lazy I am, and the more lazy I am, the more I drift. If you don't want to drift, you got to stay hungry. So when I ask for big things and receive big things, I still have to find it in myself to stay hungry for the next thing. And that allows me to never drift. It allows me to make sure that I'm on purpose every single day. So that's a way that meditation has brought a tremendous amount of income into my life. Another thing it's taught me to do was to be focused. Man, a lot of your issues come from you not being focused. Because I'm able to focus like I'm able to focus, I can get things done just like that. And because I can get things done just like that, my output is going to be very high. My output um, in relationship to projects that are hitting the marketplace are very high. And so because I'm focused, I'm not distracted. And because I'm not distracted, I'm focusing on what's actually moving the financial needle. And I give 100% credit uh, for my ability to focus to the meditation skills that I've developed over the years. And so off the top of my mind, those are the things that I can say that meditation has brought into my reality, including a tremendous amount of other things that has caused me to make a tremendous amount of money over the years. 
What has been your experience with meditation? I'm curious to know. It's Robbie Cornelius always encouraging you to master your mind and make money online. Also remember that the only place you can get me at is webassetgroup.com.